Hi, and welcome to a follow-up video for the Totally Unscripted live session that we had today. Um, I was asked about hosting Polymer project files for your Google Apps Script web app. And so, what I have is a very simple web app that just hosts a single f file index. And it and here is that uh, index HTML file, and it's just got two elements on it. It's got a paper input and a paper button. And above here, we have the, the links to these um, elements. Unfortunately, this will not work because Google Apps Script does not respect um, relative links. So there's nowhere that we can put these, these files inside of our project and link to them using a link or even using the script tag. Um, so what we have to do is host these on a third-party site, and what we're going to use is Firebase. So the Polymer project has this idea of a catalog. And so each catalog has elements that have unique properties. So what we're looking at is the paper element. And what I have, I've you can select the elements that you want. So I'm going to select a uh, paper button and paper input. So you select it by checking the little star right next to it. And you click up here and you can either download it as a zip file or install it as a as a uh, using Bower. Bower is a front-end package manager and if you go to bower.io you can see uh, how to get started with Bower and how to install it. It's just pretty much a very simple um, front-end package manager that handles dependencies. And so what we're going to do is we're going to come here, we're going to copy this uh, install command. Let's see. Let's go into test projects right here and we're going to make a new directory. We'll call it poly project. We're going to go into the poly project and we're going to first thing we're going to do is we're going to init Bower using Bower init and this will create a Bower configuration file that will um, allow us to save our dependencies and update dependencies later on if we need to. And I'm just going to keep all the defaults we don't need anything new. Um, we don't need anything uh, changed besides the defaults, as we are not we are not uh, setting this package this package up to be publicly consumed. It's just for our own private use. And I've noticed this kind of makes the colors go all crazy. So I'm going to go to properties, colors. It resets my all my colors and everything. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a Bower install. And this is going to install um, those two elements that I wanted plus all their dependencies. And you see there's, there's quite a few dependencies that are installed with it. And so for example now I can do take a look at bower.json and you can see that paper button and paper input um, have been added as a dependency. So the next thing we need to do is initialize Firebase. So we'll do a Firebase, init Firebase. Uh, this is the Firebase tool that you can install from uh, you go to the, the firebase.google.com and it'll show you how to install this using npm. So we'll do a Firebase init. It says, are you ready to proceed? Sure. And it says, it's asking which um, command line features do we want. So we're going to turn off database because we're really only looking just for for hosting right here. So we'll get, hit enter for hosting. So first thing it's going to do is ask for... Um, which project do we want to associate it with? So I'm going to associate it with this one right here that I've already created. And uh, you can create um, your Firebase projects 
by going to the Firebase console. So which is firebase.google.com. Go to console. And say create new project. And once you create that project, when you use the Firebase command line tool, it'll show up here in this list. So I'm going to use this project right here. And it says, what do you want to use as a public directory? So right now it defaults to a folder called public. But what I want to do is I want to use the current directory. So I'm going to use a dot to specify that I want to use the current directory as my public directory. So we'll hit enter. And it says there's some single page web app overrides. Since we're not pushing a web app, we're just hosting files, you can say no. Just to leave that alone. And so now, these tools are messing everything up. Let's, let's take a look. Let's reset my background color. So now you see that we have uh, some new Firebase configuration files. And so, for example, we can type firebase.j. And it's going to, and basically it just has the small little configuration for this. So the next thing we do is do a Firebase deploy. Okay. And again, it just keeps goofing up my colors. I don't know what's going on. So now we can type Firebase open. And we can select um, hosting deployed site. So it's going to launch the deployed site. So I'll just grab this link right here. So this is saying this is where the site is deployed at right here. So I'm going to copy that. I'm going to come over here. And I'm going to... So now there is... It is uh, hosting some files. So now this is our new um, URL. So I can I can copy this. And... For example, let's grab let's grab this link right here. We'll copy this, come to Firebase app, you can paste that on the end. And now you can see that those files are being hosted at this site. So I can take this, I can copy this, come over here. And now, where are your, all your scripts and links for Polymer, you can just add the URL where these are being hosted at. Go ahead and save this. We're going to deploy this as a web app. And let's go take a look at it. All right, so now we see that there is an issue that we don't have cross-origin uh, access control origins. So we're going to go in and we're going to add these. These are the core settings to say, um, basically it's saying um, some other third-party site is trying to programmatically grab these from me. And by default, I'm going to block these since it's not coming from my origin of of right here of this of this domain so it's blocking it so we have to add um, add us as an authorized uh, consumption origin all right so to be able to add the proper origin what we're going to do is we're going to go and open up 
our firebase.json file. So let's go file, open, and C drive, I think we called it test projects, poly project, firebase.json. We're going to open that up. All right, so now we see inside of our, our hosting, what we need to do is we need to add um, additional headers. Um, and if you go to, actually a really good place, to quick link to get to it, is uh, firebase.google.com docs.hosting will show you how to um, use the hosting and and all that stuff so so you click customize hosting behavior we can we you can do a lot of cool stuff using this uh, configuration file such as re redirect URL overwrites like rewrites and uh, you also get these custom headers and one of these custom headers is this called access control allow origin and so this says um, programmatically what domains can have access to these to your files right here and so what we're going to do is we're going to specify these this specific cores header so we'll open up sublime and we're going to I'm actually going to paste in a little bit of configuration right here. So we have headers and we're going to say the source is based source means uh, star star means any file any directory and the specific headers for any file any directory is I'm saying access control out origin I'm going to say star. I'm going to basically open these files up for consumption from anywhere. You could add for example, your specific domain, um, which if you find, you know, this is your, your web app right here, and you go to elements, you'll see this right here in the source. At the, at the top level source, you'll see n dash something all the way through, script and Google user content.com. You can take this and you can add that to your, as uh, the domain inside of, uh, allowed domains and then only that domain would be able to access that and I believe you have to use get the full HTTPS all the way through the end of the, of the dot com cut and paste that into this value right here and then only your specific web app will be able to consume uh, these files but for us we're just going to open up for everything we'll just say star we'll, we'll save that We'll go back to our command line and we'll deploy it again. All right, so the new the new version is up with the new new allow origin headers so now let's hit refresh now it's saying not found Oh, because I bet you my links are wrong. Hey, I love doing this live. Let's do it live. Because I bet if we go to the terminal, we go into Bower Components. Yeah, see, they're, they're one directory deep. So we, I need to put uh, paper... Input right there, folder, copy, paper button, because they're one folder deep here. We'll save this. We're still using our dev site right here. And let's see if we get this now. 
And there we are. Here's our paper input. And there's our cool button with the ripple effect. So now all your Palmer project files are hosted. Um, we talked about we added the access control origin and what I'll do is I will put this in a gist on my github and then I will link the gist in the video description uh, video description um, and we have uh, linked to them properly this time with the proper f uh, directories to our elements so now we have uh, these these elements that that we can reference right inside of our web apps. All right, uh, that was really quick, pretty messy. As always, my videos are never going to be very polished, and I'm okay with that. So if you have any questions, let me know. I'm in the Google Apps Script community, or you can uh, reach me here on the comments of this video also. All right, thanks. Bye.